The Honorable Member for Calgary, Midnapur. Are you done now? For two years, the Prime Minister has insisted he is making decisions based... I, I just want to remind the Honourable Members to place their questions through the Speaker. A letter restart... A letter restarter question Sorry, Mr. from the top. Sorry, again. My apologies. For two years, the Prime Minister has insisted he is making decisions based on science. Canadians sacrificed. They isolated, closed businesses, got vaccinated because experts advised it was the safest way forward. Now, those same experts say it is time to ease restrictions. Premiers are listening, but this Prime Minister believes he knows better and has invoked the Emergency Measures Act. Does the Prime Minister intend to force provinces to implement measures they, and science, disagree with? The Honourable Government House Leader. I'll tell you what I'm done with. I'm done with uh, seeing as this protest continues, as illegal actions continue that cost billions of dollars to businesses, that terrorize downtown residents. I am tired of seeing Conservative tweets, such as the member from Bravanche who's saying that he supports it, the member for Yorkton Melville saying that this that ripping down barricades in front of a war memorial is a patriotic act, watching somebody who aspires to be leader of Conservative Party saying that what's happening outside is something he stands by. That is enough. Please, it's time to end this. Stop supporting what's going on outside. The Honourable Member for Calgary, Bindapur. Mr. Speaker, the rest of the world is opening up and returning to normal. Where the science supports it, provinces are providing Canadians with hope for the first time in two years, contrary to this Prime Minister, whose lack of leadership has brought him to invoke the Emergency Measures Act, traumatizing Canadians. He is well aware that many provinces are opposed to these measures. He is also well aware that the science says that they are not needed. Will this Prime Minister force provinces to implement measures that they had independently decided to remove. The Honourable Government House Leader. Mr. Speaker, Canada has one of the lowest death rates in the world, one of the highest vaccination rates in the world. It has met the challenge of this pandemic. But what has not been met in this hour of history is that as the, the, the chaos descended outside, as protesters began to shut down critical infrastructure, we had lawmakers, people of this House, going out and encouraging their activity. And I have to ask, Mr. Speaker, if they didn't have lawmakers who were elected by constituents encouraging their legal actions, when would this have been over? I think it would have been over a lot sooner. I think 